For better or for worse, in sickness and in health is an age-old saying. However, when sickness strikes, many are not prepared for the strain it can have on the relationship. According to a new survey, 20% of the married people would rather be sick themselves than to care for their sick spouse. Licensed psychotherapist and relationship expert Rachel Sussman coming in from New York City today, joining us this morning with some advice on how to better care for your better half. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, it's, it, it, it really gets a little confusing sometimes, but what did you find most interesting about this new survey? Well, one of the most interesting findings is that married couples may feel like they know their spouse as well, but according to the Advil Sinus Congestion and Pain in Sickness and in Health survey, nearly half of Americans never experiences their spouse's sick persona until after they were married. So obviously with this new side to the relationship comes some added stress and tension. You know, uh, with that, the question now is who complains more when they're ill, men or women? I'm going to say men do. Well, while it definitely varies, the survey did find that twice as many women felt that their husbands complained more <laughs> when they were sick. Surprise, surprise. And in fact, more than 20% said they believed their husbands exaggerated the severity or duration of their symptoms. That's the way some guys are sometimes. They just, they just need that uh, uh, attention and that little pampering and so forth. Now, how can spouses minimize the stress on their relationship when one partner is sick? It's a great question, and the keys to avoiding the friction when, when your partner is sick is really about patience and preparation. First, be sure to keep the medicine cabinet stocked with products like Advil sinus congestion and pain to combat cold and flu symptoms. That's your preparation. And then there's lots of little things you can do to make someone feel better. If you're a cook, you can make some chicken soup. You can cover them in warm, comfy blankets. You can keep the DVR stocked with his or her favorite shows or movies. That's really a great one. I know I enjoy that. Also, offer to handle any pressing chores. Schedule a doctor's important, uh, appointment, and that's really important, important because a lot of men complain, but then they won't make a doctor's appointment. And if you do that, those kind of chores and help people out, it's definitely going to make their life easier when they're sick. And you know... I think sometimes if you put yourself in the other person's shoes, you'll be a little more caring, a little more loving as well, don't you think? Absolutely. You know, I know my husband complains when he's sick, and I always try to say <laughs> how I would feel. And I know I don't like to be sick, and it just, it does feel very nice to have someone say, do you need anything? Do you need me to run out to the store? Do we have what we need in the medicine cabinet? And, you know, just as you'd expect a person to do for you, you want to do for them. And how can we get some more information? We do appreciate this interview today. That's great. And to learn more, you can check out the Advil Cold and Allergy Facebook page. I use Advil all the time, no doubt about it. Thank you so very much, and have a great and a safe holiday season, as well as a well holiday season. Thank you. You too. And we've got more Low Country Live coming up in just a moment. Stay with us.